Good morning guys and welcome back. So it's coming to Christmas, I think we've got like three weeks left. It might be closer, it might be past Christmas, it might be coming to next Christmas by the time you guys are watching this, whenever you are watching this. But this is the top gifts for any Jeep lover. It doesn't have to be a Jeep lover, it could be a four-wheel drive lover. Some of these gifts are multi-purpose, doesn't have to be for a Jeep owner. But they're kind of Jeep orientated I guess in a way. Um, but, but I had a mate message me, uh, TJ, he saw Jack the Jeep's uh, Christmas video um, on YouTube and he said, mate, you need to do your one. Uh, we live in Australia, Jack the Jeep lives in uh, America somewhere. I know that where he is, is snowing. So the stuff that he, he might be buying or the stuff he might want for Christmas could be completely different to what we want here in Australia or New Zealand, wherever it might be. Right now it's like 33 degrees, um, feels like 37 and we've got storms approaching like thunder and lightning. Like, it's completely different than what you guys, you guys might be used to a snow Christmas, beach Christmas, instead of making snowmen, we make fucking uh, sandmen at the beach. Um, like, it's a completely different Christmas for us. But in the comments below, let me know where you guys are in the world, what kind of Christmas um, you guys are having, and what are your top uh, Christmas gift ideas that you either want or for someone else, for either the Jeep lover or the four-wheel drive lover in your family. But let's get started on the top gifts for any Jeep lover or four-wheel drive lover for Christmas. So Christmas is always that giving time of the year where you're always excited to get presents and it's the kind of year or the time of the year that it's all right to kind of splurge and get the stuff you want. Um, normally in the year you kind of you, know, you don't really have an excuse to buy in that part or this part. Christmas is a perfect opportunity to get your wife or your husband or your brother or your sister or your mother or your father to chip in um, and just buy the parts you want. Um, obviously a lot of people were stressed out for budgets and stuff like that so obviously my channel is based around budgets and stuff like that so all these gifts are relatively re relatively uh, cheap in a way. I've always got cost as a factor uh, just as my situation um, in life and stuff like that uh, but also like to look, look after you guys make sure you guys are getting the best bangs for bucks. So the first thing is um, Secret Santas. Now, uh, tradition in our family we always do Secret Santa and it's always so much fun. But this year we're mixing up a little bit, we're doing a Facebook Marketplace Secret Santa. So the uh, price limit is $40 but the, the ooh, you hear that light? you hear that thunder in the background? But the budget is $40. So you have to buy something off Facebook Marketplace which is actually a great idea. Um, so so we're actually giving someone else money for the things they have so they've got more money in their back pocket for Christmas gifts for their family um, and all, also we're getting something for us um, and we're not just buying brand new crap and getting $40 is not a lot of money to be fair especially when you're trying to buy something second hand um, and for Christmas so you really have to think about what you're buying and who you're buying it for um, now I won't tell you because if they're watching this video they'll find out and stuff like that um, but it's it's a great way to save a little bit of money, give back to someone else as well, um, and utilize secondhand stuff, which I'm always keen for. Uh, now, I didn't want to do the top five or top 10 because this is endless. Um, you could have massive gifts. So I'm, I'm just going over the top gifts um, of what I reckon I'd love for Christmas, um, what I've had, um, and I, what I reckon would be a great gift. But let me know in the comments below what you guys want for Christmas. Um, maybe Santa might be watching this video and you guys might get a little something something in your stockings as well. But let's have a look. So the first thing on my Christmas list would um, be a set of recovery tracks. Um, always handy. Very useful. Um, especially if you're just getting the forward driving. Uh, really handy to have on your Jeep all the time. Uh, just in case you get bogged. You get stuck uh, just to help you out on those situations. They do vary, eBay ones $90, uh, set of um, exit tracks ones about $110 to $180, um, but they're just really handy to have. Not really a stocking stuffer, but good price, really cheap, but very handy to have. Moving on with exit track as well. In Australia, we drink beer in summer because it's so bloody damn hot, and you want to keep your beer cold. So if you're buying sort of exit tracks where you're on the website, also pick up um, a few stubby holders as well. They're really handy to have inside your vehicle to keep your beer warm, especially if you're camping and stuff like that. Really handy to have and cheap. I think these are like $2 to $5 or something. I'm not 100% sure on the price. They did come with the um, extra tracks when I bought them, uh, but really handy to have. So if you're heading up the beach um, this summer in Australia, Tire pressures are a must. If you don't have good tire pressures, more than likely you will be getting bogged. Um, and if you do get bogged, 
you've done your tire pressures um, and you become unbolted. So if you don't have a tire pressure gauge or a tire deflator, one of these will fit perfectly inside a stocking. These are really cheap, they work rough between $15 to $100 depending on different brands you want to buy. Uh, this one from 4-wheel drive super center for like $15. Really handy to have if you guys are heading up the beach um, over Christmas holidays, this summer, tire pressure gauge, tire deflator, whatever it might be. Um, you can use a tire pressure gauge as a deflator um, if you want. Really they're handy to have, great for a stocking gift as well. Now, coming on to getting bogged if you don't want a set of recovery tracks or the person you're buying for doesn't want a set of recovery tracks, uh, may I suggest a snatch strap. Um, now these are great for uh, recovering people, recovering yourself, whatever it might be, if you get yourself into a sticky situation and you've got a friend with you, um, they're a great way to get out um, and get home. And these also rough in price, uh, this is a Hercules one, I think this was, I got this for Christmas one year, uh, been an awesome gift, I haven't needed it, um, I have pulled it out on a few occasions but I've managed to get myself uh, stuck in a few other different ways. And these rough in price between, uh, I think this one may be $60 um, to $120. $300 depending on what you pin. But it's another nice uh, stocking stuffer. Now as you can see it's like getting dark. We've got a massive storm rolling over so the lights are pretty poor. Sorry guys. Um, but for the kids, oh, you got to look after the kids. Come on guys. You know the kids would love a little toy Jeep. Um, now obviously they're not really old enough to play with the actual Jeep. They were would be buying them a big Jeep. But getting a small toy Jeep will get them interested um, in Jeeps. So I think this one's from TK Max, TJ Max like ten dollars if that great little gift idea um, and you kind of press the top button and it's but great little stocking stuff here for kids uh, get them interested in jeeps um, and loving life um, now this isn't really a stocking stuffer you can buy these offline but I reckon the tailgate table is an absolute must for camping for driving um, especially in summer in Australia uh, great way to either hold the barbecue now obviously I built mine myself you can either build one for your friend recycle parts and stuff like that or you can buy them off eBay Amazon and stuff like that for like I think a hundred bucks but you can build your own even if you build your own for your friend for your brother for your sister whoever it might be that's a great way to recycle timber um, or you could even contract someone locally um, to build one or reach out to someone else that you may know that's handy with timber but really simple to build we've got videos of, on those in the channel if you guys want to check those out um, that way you recycle material, it's not very expensive um, and it's a great product that will, that will get a lot of use out um, But mine's come in handy so much to hold donuts, coffee, beer, wine, all that sort of stuff oh, Come in so handy um, during summer, pretty similar to make um, but really handy at the same time So a lot of these gifts aren't super expensive like tyres, lift kits, uh, stuff like that A lot of people can't afford them for Christmas, I know I can't but just small gifts like this um, uh, great to receive that you might normally not normally buy yourself, um, but they're a great gift to get from a loved one. Ooh, hoo, hoo. Yeah, you see that lining just then? It's getting bad. So let's get on to the last gift. So we'll shut this up because the last gift, the last stocking stuffer. Well, it's not really stocking stuff. I suppose it is when it comes all packaged up. But the last gift is a dirty gear bag. Uh, from Kings. Now, it's awesome that Jeeps have a spare wheel on the back. Um, now you can, these can vary in price depending on what brand you buy. This one was, I think, $20, $15 from uh, Four Wheel Drive Supercenter here on the Sunshine Coast. But it's just come in so handy. I mean, it's it's there to hold nappies, dog shit. Now we've got kids, we've got dogs. These are awesome. Last camping trip we did with that teardrop trailer. Oh, actually, I might add one more to the end, so make sure you guys stick around with that. But this is awesome, we put uh, baby nappies in that, dog shit, dog shit bags, um, food scraps, everything, everything went in there, so it didn't actually have to go inside the Jeep and stick that up. So, um, if you know someone that's got a spare wheel and they do lots of camping trips, would highly recommend that. We just line that with an actual uh, bin liner that you would have um, upstairs in your actual house, and it just all sits in there to so just wrap that up, chuck that out, and you're good to go. So you don't actually have to clean that up. So the last one, but not least, I reckon this is my favourite one. Uh, where we're going to do that? This we are going to do this for a family member. I won't say who in case they are watching. They will probably find out during Christmas, actually. Um, but a weekend away. Um, now, 
I know a lot of people, my brother-in-law especially, they've got a young son as well, um, and his wife, my sister-in-law, isn't too keen on camping. But that teardrop trailer he rented, he was really keen on renting something like that. So what we're going to do, we're not going to pay for a whole trip away because it's about $75 a night. If you guys want to watch that video, you can go back. But what we're going to do is we're going to pay for one night uh, teardrop trailer rental um, and then one night camping. Um, I think we're going to do Hangaroa as well. So it'll be about $100, $105 that we're paying for. And then they'll pay for the final nights depending on how long they want to stay for. But gets him out of the house. He loves camping. He loves adventures and stuff like that. Um, she's just not too keen, so hiring a teardrop trailer or something like that, or a campsite, uh, we'll get them out, we'll get him enjoying, uh, stuff like that, um, like we did. I absolutely loved it, my son loved it, um, he's got a young, you see that lightning? He's got a young son as well, so just getting him out on adventures, um, now it doesn't have to be renting a teardrop trailer, um, it can just be maybe a year's pass to Fraser Island, um, Noosa North Shore, um, Moab, um, Rubicon Trail, whatever it might be, a lot of people don't figure that stuff into pricing that you've got to pay for trails and stuff like that. So getting them a weekend away or paying for a year's pass for a trail is a great way to get them out there, get them out on adventures. Um, oh, there's probably another one in that as well. Uh, a lot of people are saying fuel vouchers, uh, fuel can be very expensive, especially for a Jeep as everybody knows, so fuel vouchers, they go along with those trips as well. But that's something to think about, um, a weekend away just maybe a night's accommodation and they can pay them for the rest as well as a fuel voucher. Um, it just gets them a little bit further, um, just get them out onto adventures. But that's pretty much it for today guys. Um, if I don't see you, if I don't do another video, I hope you guys have an awesome Christmas. Make sure you guys stay safe, keep your family safe, um, just have an awesome time. And also, I'll probably see you guys before then anyway in another video. Uh, but I hope you guys have a great Christmas and a happy New Year's as well. I hope um, some of these gifts come in handy for either you or your loved ones as well. So have a great Christmas guys, thanks for watching, I'll see you guys next time.